And welcome to the beautiful new Klein High School Gymnasium, where the Klein Bearcats are on the prowl and play host to the high-flying eagles of Atascacita. The Bearcats district record does not tell a story of their capabilities, as they're just 11 points from a 6-2 record. They play the top teams very tough, and did the same tonight against the Max Preps number 6 ranked Eagles. The Eagles' Joe Burton is the kind of player that makes his teammates better. So the Bearcats focused on shutting down his support team. Well, a lot of that plan worked, and the Bearcats executed well, playing smart and would have won if it had not been for Joe Burton's 49 points. That's right, 49 points. Get ready for some action. Joe Burton got things going as Zach Haney finds him in the paint for an easy bucket. The Bearcats went outside for their first points as Mark Brooks nailed his first of five three-pointers. Nolan Bilbo answered, taking the inbound pass to the paint with a running jumper to put the Eagles up by one early. Chika Uba gets in the flow when he skies over 6'11 Haney to get the tip in to regain the lead. 6'5 Matt Gillette set up in the corner and Malik Latin finds him and he drops the two. Ah, must have had a toe in the line. Then Latin challenges Bilbo, getting the turnover and beats Bilbo for the lay-in to tie the game at 11. Latin would then get an assist from Jalen Nicholas, and he drills the three, and the Bearcats go up by four after the first period. The Bearcats dictated the pace as Latin finds Shina Duuba open on the wing, and he replies with a three. Later, when Latin got the ball back, he couldn't pass up the opportunity, and rattles home the three, and the Bearcats lead by six. Then Latin sneaked around Greg Sheed and is off on the breakaway. But the Bearcats' Carson Edwards overruns the play and Latin had to be replaced by Cameron Gassaway, who cashed in the free throws to widen the lead to eight midway through the period. Then it was showtime for the Oklahoma State signee Joe Burton with help from a few friends as he floats to the corner and finds the bottom of the net for three. Then Burton's spin move opens the baseline and he weaves another two points. When Greg Sheets there's a pass in the paint, it's Burton getting the outlet. And the throwdown, down by four. Then Sheed finds him at the top of the key. Smooth. And when Burton swipes this Chris Lundy pass, he ignites the fans with a hammer. And his 13th straight point ties the game erasing an eight-point deficit. And with time running out, Sheet again looks for Burton in the corner, and he delivers a three. And Burton heads for the locker room with 21 points in the period, and 29 for the half. What a show. The Klein faithful witnessed their team holding the first place Eagles to six points. Well, except for Burton's efforts and ordinarily that would put them in a comfortable lead. But tonight would be something special for Burton, and his team knew exactly where the money was as Bilbo tosses the alley-oop, and Burton opens a half with a slam. The Bearcats' Mark Brooks then stepped up his game, seemingly pleased as he works around Burton, underneath for the bucket. And Brooks cut the lead to one when he drained this three from deep in the corner. And he's feeling it now. The guard play was competitive all night. And here, High Edwards swipes one from Jalen Nicholas. And the Eagles are up by three. But Brooks was just getting started and steps out on the wing and is on target again for another three. Cameron Gassaway would then find an opening and goes over Burton to pull within two. Later, Chika Uba gets away in the perimeter and knocks down a three, showing his range. And so Paris Marquez answers back when Edwards kicks one out to him in the corner, and he's on target. But when Trinidu Uba works the baseline for the pull up over Bilbo, the Bearcats even the score again at 51. 
and that signaled Burton to turn it on again as he brings it down close enough to hit the J from the top of the key and to give the Eagles a five point margin heading into the final stanza. On the inbound play, Bilbo gets a three on two breakaway and here comes Haney with authority and the lead is up to seven. The Bearcats were caught napping on this inbound play and Donze Peacock got open underneath opening a nine point margin. So needing to catch up quickly, the Bearcats moved outside and Brooks knocked down another from the wing. And then again from the corner over Bilbo, his fifth three of the night. When Malik Latin let go from the wing, the Bearcats had cut the lead to four with 2.15 left. So with the Bearcats closing in on the hunt, Burton said it was money time as he brings it down alone and to the hoop for two more. Then he works the high post against Gassaway and drives in for the deuce and the foul. And he capped his amazing performance with emphasis, taking this deep inbound from Haney for the slam. And gets a final gift from Greg Sheed for the alley-oop to put the exclamation point on a 49-point performance as the Itasca City Eagles stayed undefeated in District 13 5A. I'm used to my teammates uh, expecting me to deliver in big time, big time plays, make big time plays for my team. You know, they just gave me the ball and they, I put them on my back and I took them on. Uh, we had a little bit of problems with our defense, but you know, it's, it's really nothing. Our coach is great. We're going to go back and practice and we're going to correct those problems. Oh, just look out for the Tassina High School. We out there.